Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is episode six now. Jeez. Um, man, it's just been a good week. I mean, it's been a long week, but it's been a good week. So thank you guys for watching, you know, those those videos. I had, Like I said, I had no idea that any of them would get any views, and I had no idea that I'd be doing this this week. You know, God's good. He he's always is. He always will be. And I think there's just been a lot to celebrate this week. I've noticed, um, at least in myself personally, I think in those in the lives around me, that there's been a lot of growth spiritually in this time of isolation and quarantine, which is really odd to think because that's often what people would really be struggling with if they were forced to be by themselves for a couple of days. But I think we've kind of broken past that barrier of being like, you know, this is new to me. Like, I don't want to spend so much time at home. I think we've gotten past that point to where now we're kind of forced to be with the thoughts that we don't want to have. And we're forced to trace them back to the roots and turn to a God who cares and gives us those answers. So I want to talk today about the fruits of the Spirit. Just really quickly, I just want to go over top of them because I think there's one that's really standing out to me today specifically. And it's, so uh, in Galatians 6, or no, sorry, Galatians 5, verse 22 uh, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against things, against such things, there is no law. Let me run through them one more time. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And against those things, there are no laws. So, I think that's really important. Like, this world can impose a lot of things on us and like you know, these quarantines, these stay at home, stay safe. And I believe there are very good things for us right now to, to keep the majority of us safe. But the things that they, they can't control, like the darkness can't push on the things that we control and the things that we have, um, that we have roots in because the fruit of the spirit. So if we have roots in the spirit and the spirit is growing in us, the fruit it will produce are those those nine things: the love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And there's nothing that can, that that the world can do to stop those because they come from the spirit. And the spirit, you know, is just like God and Jesus and spirit. They're all the same. So they've overcome this world. There's nothing that can stop that down or stop that or shoot that down. And I saw a couple of videos today on on a, for Good Friday from a from a church a couple of years ago. And man, they got me hyped up. I was, I was, I saw like this video did this turnaround thing where it was like getting dark and it was super sad. It was talking about Jesus, how Jesus died, but then it turned around and gave him that punch in the gut that it comes like three, three days later, Jesus is back up, he beats death. And I got so joyful. Like I had shivers. I literally pushed my chair back and I stood up. I was literally like in my, I can't make this up. I'm not lying to you. I got up and pointed at the screen and repeated the words that were coming up on the screen. I had never watched a song or never watched this video before, but I was going along with it. I was super hype. Another thing that I've realized is joy comes a lot of the times when you're talking with other people, especially when you're recapping like what's happened in life. How's life going? Like I just recently had an opportunity to catch up with somebody and we had a very long FaceTime call and it was great. Like we just talked and we hung out and we got to know each other deeper than what we previously had. And the amount that I laughed was more so than I have in the past two weeks. Like I enjoyed that so, so much. And it meant like the world to me that someone would care enough to give up their time to tell me about who they are and who they want to be, who they're aspiring to be. And I think that's so amazing. And I think that that can happen between people that, you know, in your family, people that are just your friends, maybe just some acquaintances that you've always wanted to get to know. Maybe call that neighbor you'd never have wanted to talk to. Because this is a time of like darkness and sadness and loneliness. And because the fruit of the spirit, one of those is joy, one of them is love, and it's peace and patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And if we produce those things by the spirit inside of us, we should be willing and able to give those away to those who really, really need it. And I think my encouragement for you today with this really short, sweet, to the point message is we've been spending a lot of time with ourselves and talking to God, praying, which is all very, very good. And please don't stop doing that. But bring some of that to somebody else. I encourage you to be a light today. Right before Easter, there's so many family members, there's so many friends who don't get to celebrate Easter this year, myself included. And 
And while that is sad, I don't think it's done by accident. Nothing happens that God doesn't have a plan for. So I encourage you this, this Easter weekend um, to spend some time with God and then reach out to someone who you don't normally reach out to. Reach out to someone you want to get to know. Grab a cup of coffee, text them to get a cup of coffee, and then drink it while you're talking. It's like a little coffee date, but it's not really. There's like, it's just so much fun. If you're worried about other people hearing you, put your headphones in. If you're talking about something that's really important to you, go in your room. But I think it's so important to live this out and be a joyful light, a loving light, a light that has kindness and goodness and faithfulness and gentleness, and just reach out to everybody because the world needs to laugh more. Laughing is so great. It just makes makes the day so much better. The best way to release like stress and anxiety is to get someone laughing because that anatomically and uh, physiologically produces things in your body that are stronger than drugs. Like they'll just, they'll switch your mood around like nothing else. And if we have so much abundance of a joy that's never ending from a God who cares so much and is so loving, I encourage you to spread that because it's happened to me so much in these last few days. That's truly the only reason why I'm getting through this quarantine is because people people love me, people reach out to me, and I love other people, and I reach out to them, and I've gotten to know some amazing people so much deeper than I ever thought I would during this quarantine. So yeah, we can choose to make this look like a really dark time. We can choose to only focus on the negative, or we can grow our roots more in the spirit and reap the benefits of the fruit that he produces. So I ask you today, reach out, be joyful, spread that light, please. All right, let's pray really quick and then I'll send you off on your Easter weekend, all right? Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for all that you are and all that you do for me and all that you give me, God. Thank you for the opportunity to laugh. Thank you for the, the just what happens when we laugh, God. It's so amazing. Thank you for that, that wonderful feeling of joy that you give us. Not a temporary happiness, but a joy that never ends when we have you, Father. So I ask that you help us spread this joy in the coming days, Lord. I thank you for your sacrifice of your son on the cross for our sins, God. And I, I thank you that he rose again so that we can find this joy. Lord, I pray for I pray for healing in those who need it. I pray for those affected with COVID, Lord. I pray for those who need so much more help that they're unable to receive right now, God. Please be a light to their feet and a lantern for their path, God, so that they know who to reach out to, who to call, and uh, that they always have you on their side, Father. Lord, I love you and I thank you. And I thank you for the opportunity to be speaking today right now, God. Thank you for the opportunity to be recording right now. I just I just love you and you're just amazing, God. So I just ask that I'm able to spread your joy more and more each and every day. So Father, let's make some new connections. Let's spark some new lights, God. Please inspire us to do so. I ask all these praise in your name, God. Amen. Thank you so much, guys. Like I said, every single time, I love that you guys are watching still. And I just ask that you share your light, share these videos, whatever you need to do. If someone needs to hear something or if you need something from me, let me know, all right? All right, guys, I love you. I'll see you next time, all right? Bye.